Hi, my name's Greg Harrell and this is a dim screencast. Uh, the topic of this screencast is dim vinegar versus nerd tree, uh, which is a, a kind of debate that has raged uh, in various places on the internet. Um, some people say you should be using one and some people say you should be using the other and of course the answer is that you should be using both. Um, and I'm going to show you why. Really the overarching topic here though is how to get places, how to open stuff quickly. And so it's not really just a question of whether you use the Vim Vinegar approach or the like the Nerd Tree approach. You're actually going to use different tools for different jobs. So I'm going to quickly mention a couple. Um, one is Command T, which is a plugin that I wrote. I'll do a screencast on this alone later on. But for now, it suffices to, to, to know that it's the typical fuzzy file finder. So if I wanted to open a file, I'd type a few letters from it and I can jump straight there. Um, so generally when I know exactly what I want to jump to, know the name of it and potentially some characters from the path, this is always going to be the fastest way to get there. Um, and similarly, if I've already got a buffer that's open, I can bring up a buffer finder and, you know, type a couple letters from that and jump to that. Uh, but there are other ways to jump around. Um, the other one that I want to show you before I get into the Vim Vinegar versus Nerd Tree thing is Vim Projectionist, um, which is a very generic tool by T Pope that allows you to configure mappings that can be bidirectional or unidirectional um, between different file types and you can specify different patterns and basically show how to jump from one file to another. Um, this is a successor to um, alternate.vim or a.vim as it might be known. So uh, in this example I, I'm in a test file and I, the alternate file is going to be the implementation. So if I hit colon shift A it takes me to the implementation. Um, the alternate of the implementation is the test. I can open the alternate in a vertical split. I can open the alternate in a horizontal split. Um, so those are the main things that I do with Projectionist. And once again, those are the, the quickest way to jump between files when they have a, an obvious pairing like that. Um, I'll show you how that is set up. I don't have a lot of uh, Projectionist mappings set up. In fact, I probably only have one. I have a few, there you go. So um, how that worked was this JS stuff that you see down here. Uh, or actually it was down here. Oh no, it's this pair of things here, sorry. Uh, so the top one basically says the alternate of a JS, you should look in its directory under tests uh, for a file pattern that looks like that. Um, and the inverse is this operation here, when you have something that looks like a test file, you look for the base name. Um, so that works pretty well, but you can see I've also got it set up for C and uh, C header files. Um, you could go to town in this, this is really only scratching the surface. Um, but now let's get back to what I was saying before, which is Vim Vinegar versus Nerd Tree. Um, one argument is that uh, using like hierarchical visualizers like Nerd Tree is not appropriate for Vim because it's not really a spatial thing. I disagree. Um, I think it's really appropriate when you have a situation like this maybe where you are landing in a project for the first time and you want to get a sense of what things are in there um, and you don't know your way around yet. Um, and just, just get that high level overview. Um, and another really good use case for it is when you want to do things like uh, visually inspect files without jumping to them. So if I hit enter here, it'll jump to the file and I can start editing it. But if I just want to look at some of these in quick succession, I can just do GO. And you'll notice that the focus isn't changing, but I can still jump around between them. This is a nice way to look at a bunch of files quickly. Um, GI would do the same, but in a split. And there are a bunch more mappings that you can see when you hit question mark in the nerd tree window uh, that I barely use, but they, they do exist. So I think nerd tree definitely has its use case. What is Vim Vinegar? Um, I'll just blow straight past nerd tree. That's the place it is on GitHub if you want to look at it. Vim Vinegar is another T Pope plugin. The idea is that it kind of hijacks or integrates with NetRW, the built in directory explorer um, that comes with Vim. Um, which is less sophisticated than Nerd Tree, but many would argue that it's good enough. Uh, so the way this works is you hit minus and it shows you where you are in context. And you can go to another file, hit enter and you're editing it. Um, and you can keep mashing minus, like going up level after level until you find what you want. Um, so I think this is appropriate too for some use cases where command T Maybe you don't know the thing, you don't want to type a bunch of characters, you don't want to use projectionists because you haven't got the mapping set up, you don't want to navigate a hierarchy, well, maybe this is the right way to do it. So I end up using all four of those all the time, continuously.
Um, one thing to note about the way I use this, I'm not using Vim Vinegar, I'm just borrowing the idea of Vim Vinegar. Uh, and I'm not using NetRW, I'm using Nurtree because I like the way it looks. I think it's got a better UI, um, it's got more keyboard shortcuts, it's just more powerful. So let's look at how that is set up. And I've got to try to find it. Let's see where some of this is set up. Yep, so down here is some of it. I've got an auto command that is set up as soon as NerdTree is loaded. Uh, and basically, whenever NerdTree runs, we're going to call this, whenever NerdTree appears on the screen, we're going to call this attempt to select last file. Um, Oops, that's not where I meant to go. Attempt to select last file. Where is it? There it is. So effectively finds out what buffer you were in immediately before you open the tree, searches for it in the buffer, and you land on it. So if I hit minus here, it's going to land on auto commands. Well, that wasn't very interesting because it was the top one in the list. So if I'm in mappings and I hit minus, it's on mappings. Uh, so that's part of it. Uh, the other part, Speaking of mappings, or it might be there it is, FT plugin. Um, you can see here I've set up a, a mapping that applies only to the nerd tree buffer in buffers of type nerd tree. It will map the minus key to up there. So that's how we get the going up the, the tree effect. Um, and the last place where I set this stuff up would be think here in normal mode mappings. Yeah, there it is. Um, basically, same deal. Uh, when I'm in normal mode in any file, I'm going to hit minus. It's going to map to um, the edit command, and it's going to edit the directory. What control R equals here does is it basically evaluates the expression to the right of the equal sign, and it is as though you had typed the result of that expression. So it effectively expands the current file. If there isn't one, it just opens the current directory. If there is one, it's the base name. And then thanks to that auto command that I have, it ends up selecting the right line. Um, and there's one more piece, which I should show. Uh, and and, a, and a re another good reason to use NerdTree instead of just NetRW is NerdTree allows you to keep the alternate file by overriding this NerdTree create prefix thing. Uh, that was recently added. Uh, to NerdTree. I got a pull request accepted for this purpose. Um, so the reason this is important is it means that when I hit the minus key and NerdTree appears, the so-called alternate file has been preserved. And so I can hit Control 6 and jump back to where I was. That's something that you can't do with NetRW and you can't do with Vinegar and you can't do uh, yeah, without using this configuration in NerdTree. So I can hit Control 6 again and jump back and forth between these things. Um, I've actually seldom hit control six because I've got it bound to leader leader or space space in my case because it's a pretty common operation to want to jump back and forth between two files. Um, so that brings me to the end of this screencast on vinegar versus trees. Um, the answer is both are awesome and I encourage you to use both but also pack your toolbox with other tools like projectionist and command T or what are the other mappings you might come up with that make your uh, navigation smoother. So thanks for listening.